Hey YouTube, I'm out here after work this evening picking, yes, turnip leaves to cook, yes, to cook them. Stay tuned. Oh, how beautiful. Turnip leaves. Let's get to cooking. All right, so I'm sauteing in, um, I had some leftover grease oil from cooking some meat the other night. But if you're vegetarian or vegan, you can go ahead and use whatever oil of preference. Oftentimes, I use an avocado oil, which I really enjoy. Now these, because I, all my peppers and onions are not quite ready in the garden yet, I had bought over the winter. Now this coming winter, I'm hoping to have some of my very own without having to buy it in the, in the store. But um, this is a pepper stir fry. And I got it for 99 cents for this whole entire bag. And seriously, it, it's been lasting me a long time. Just, just a handful per recipe or so, usually. And you really don't need all this. You could just take the um, chives that I had picked out of the garden. You can go ahead and do that. You can just, if you don't even have anything like that, you can just take some any seasonings that you may have. Some, um garlic powder, uh, cayenne pepper, you could put onion powder, uh, anything like that and just mix with the oil or, or grease. Since I have it, I'm going to go ahead and add some minced garlic. And Some diced canned or jars, really. Oops. Well, that's a mess up. <laughs> I'll have to get that cleaned up. Guess what? This is what I'm going to do because I know that's clean. I just cleaned it. And just stir that on up. I happen to have some chicken broth, but you can go ahead and just add a little bit of water. There's plenty of flavor. Or water and some boyan cubes. Oftentimes, I actually recommend when you make it when you're making um, chicken that has bone on, of course, when there's left after you get it off the bone, you can go ahead and make your own bra, a bone bra. I might have to do another video like that again. So boil this one up. Now that's getting a good boiling going. Go ahead. Oh my, this is going to be interesting. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do the camera here with one hand. And chop it. Go ahead and chop up your turnip greens. I really have no rhyme or reason to this. Just go on and do it however you want. I keep the stems in. I think it's good. And actually there's a lot of nutrition in the stems. Alright, that's boiling nicely. Let's add the greens. I'm just going to go ahead and throw them in there. And I'm just doing a little pot for, to show you. Actually, I'll probably just eat these tonight. Go ahead and get them. Just go ahead and let them soak in. I don't stir them up just yet. I just soak them into the broth.
I don't know. For, for, you know what? When I cook, I don't do exact minutes. I don't do exact measurements. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and say just a few minutes for this little pot. But if you have a big pot of it, you're probably going to have greens up to the top. And you're just going to watch them soak down. You're going to kind of just gently push them down in as they soften. And go in there. Once you see that they're all kind of covered a little bit. I mean, this, like I said, this is going to be, you have a lot of greens. Which I recommend waiting till you have a whole bunch. And make a big pot of it, but... This is just kind of the first trial for the for the season, and then I go ahead, then go ahead and put a pot over it for I would say an hour on simmer. If you have a big pot, this little pot I could go ahead and probably do it in about thirty minutes. All right, looks like it's soaking down well. Actually, earlier I said to put a pot on it, and I meant a lid. So now, now that it's soaked down a bit, now what I'm going to do is stir it all up. Switch hands. Switch hands. Alright. Oh, yeah, it's looking good. Yummy, 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 to me, tum, tum, to me. Yeah. Alright, so again, just stirring that up. this point I think I'm going to add just a bit of salt and baking soda just a pinch of baking soda and salt the baking soda and salt help take a little bit of the bitterness out of the turnip leaves I'm not going to show it because I need two hands if you don't have it you know what that's okay most people are going to have salt. I'll tell you that much. Most people are going to have some salt. What they might not have is baking soda. And please do not use the baking soda that you have in your refrigerator open to take the smells out. Because that's exactly what it's doing. is It's soaking up all the odors and nastiness. You do not want to use that same baking soda for cooking. Just, you know... FYI. <laughs> and that's what the baking soda and salt's gonna look like. It's gonna boil up a little bit. Kinda like one of those little volcano science experiments. Trust me, it's gonna be yum. <laughs> yum 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 too. Tum tum tummy. Can you tell I'm getting hungry and it smells delicious? Alright, I'm gonna let this simmer a little longer. Get some of the moisture out. And when I say a little longer, I don't, like I said, I don't measure time. I don't measure ingredients. The only thing I really measure is rice ratio. That's the only thing I think I ever do when I'm cooking is water to rice ratio. Alright, all done. Now if you want, of course you see this is a lot more soupy. I like it that way, but you could have it, you could put a lot less broth in it, or you could even simmer it longer, and it would get thicker. Now, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to add it on top of some leftover rice mixture I had from making wraps the other night. This is looking wonderful. Now this will be my dinner tonight. And yes, I'm going to call this a dinner for less than a dollar. It's amazing. And yes, I still have a little left that I can save for my lunch tomorrow. So you can see, yes, I do eat what I cook for sure. Mmm. Mmm. I 
actually think this is the best I've ever made. It's delicious. Have you never had it? What do you got to lose? If it's in your garden, try it. And thank you so much for watching and joining me in this journey and my family. Sorry. This is what happens when you try and tape and eat at the same time. Again, hey, like, subscribe, comment. That helps more people see the video. Also, I'm thinking about setting up a Patreon page. And if anything starts going with that, I plan to help use that in helping stock up local pantries, uh, helping some families in need, and uh, go from there. Thanks. Hey, see you next time.